Hi guys, Sam here. <clears throat> Welcome to your maths challenge video for this week. Your challenge will be using the idea of these, uh, this game really, it's called Magic V's. Magic V. And I drew some colorful stars up here to make it more magical. Yeah, so the idea of Magic V is that you place the numbers, um, in this case, place the numbers one through five in this V shape below in these circles that form a V-shape, so that the two arms, here's one arm, have the same total. So again, you're using numbers one through five, that's one, two, three, four, and five, and you're putting one of each of those in these three circles, I'm sorry, in these five circles right here. And you want to make sure that starting from here and adding this plus this plus this equals the same thing as adding this plus this plus this. I think this activity is probably better suited for having whiteboards. I'm obviously using a felt tip and paper, which isn't ideal, but I'm using what I have because I don't have a whiteboard at home. Um, so use what you have. <clears throat> if you can rub it up, great. If you can erase it, fine. If not, no worries. Um, now this is an activity that's gonna require you to think systematically. And what I mean by that is you're going to, you're going to fail. You're not gonna get it right the first time. If you do, I think that would be pure luck or you're just, you can work it out in your brain much better than I can. Yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so I wanna place each of the numbers one through five in this V shape below. Um, now if I went into this willy-nilly, I might just go one, two, three, four, five. Let's try that. That is a way of doing something systematically. So we know that if it doesn't work out, we can rule that, that one out, okay? So if I put one here, five. Okay, so we're starting from the bottom of this V and adding up both sides. I've written small because I don't think this is going to be the right answer, but I'm going to say each one out loud so that you know what I'm know what I'm doing here. So if I add three, starting here at the bottom, I want to do this left arm first. Three, add two, add one. So three add two is five. Five add one. That's going to make six over here. I, I already can see that something's wrong with this because looking at the other arm, I've got three, add four, add five. Three add four, seven. Seven add five, twelve. Okay, our answer is way off. That's, that's not gonna work out for us, okay? So if you think about this, in the range of one through five, what's the biggest number? Five. Um, and if that's on either arm, that's probably going to kind of outweigh that side. But each arm has this shared, shared bottom bit right here. So if I put my five, and then I distribute the rest of the numbers throughout the other arms. Let's see what happens. Okay, if, if I do five, if I do five, I'll put a one here, and I'll do a four here. Okay, so I've done five and four and one. I want to do two and three over here. Something tells me I made a mistake, but it's okay. That's all part of thinking systematically. Five add one, six, six add two, eight is my new total. All right, five add four is nine. Nine add three is 12. I've done something silly there. But I know, I know that this five in the bottom is what I'm going for. So I'm just gonna rub out the other arms. I want that five to be shared for both arms. All right, I'm gonna get it right this time, so I'm gonna switch to a different color. All right. Keep my five, outline it in blue, okay? So once again, I'll start with five, and I'm gonna start with, yeah, I'll go four over here. So if I do four over here, I'm gonna want to do three on this side. Now, even though we know five add four is nine, and five add three is eight, we've still got two more boxes to fill out here. We've got one and two. So if we think about here, five add four is nine. If we added one to that, that would give us a total of 10. Five add three is eight. If we added two to that, that would give us a 10. Amazing. Both sides have the same total. They both have 10, okay? So your challenge this week, can you figure out any other combination of the numbers one through five in the V shape below. And I'm gonna snap my fingers 
and your other challenges are going to appear below. Okay, so your other challenges are here. Can you figure out a way to place the numbers two through six in the V-shape below? Get the same total. How would you do that? Can you figure out a way to place the numbers 12 through 16 in the V-shape below? The numbers 30, 37 through 41 in the V-shape below have the same total, okay? Then your next challenge, the ultimate challenge here, can you place the numbers one through seven in this V-shape, which has one, two, three, four circles on each arm and have the same total going up each arm? Enjoy, post your results on Seesaw. Looking forward to it.